Praise God, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Faith Ministries, where we walk by faith and not by sight. It is Thursday, July 13th, 2023, and today we are going to be praying against monitoring spirits. So what are monitoring spirits? You know that the enemy can't is not like God. God is omnipresent. He's everywhere all the time. He knows the details of our hearts. He knows everything about us. But Satan is not that way. He can't be everywhere at the same time. So he has a hierarchy <clears throat> in his system that m m mirrors the hierarchy of God in terms of angels and all of that stuff. So at the very bottom level or towards the bottom level, we have what we call monitoring spirits. These are spirits that are sent to monitor people's activities and report, make reports and report what they see, what they observe <clears throat> to higher level demons that are being used by witches and warlocks so that whoever has a spiritual hit on you will be able to know exactly what's happening in your life so that they know what to do and how to disrupt whatever plans that might be taking root in your life, basically. So that's the function of that. So you'll find that a lot of the time, these witches and warlocks use monitoring spirits to perform their wicked craft and their wicked enterprise. And sometimes they will use mirrors, okay? So they will have a mirror, they will use whatever gadgets, but a lot of times they use mirrors where they can kind of like look through the mirror and see your life and what you're doing and then be able to um, chant, perform enchantments and divination and all sorts of things against the individual. So today we're going to pray against monitoring spirits. We're going to ask that every monitoring device of the enemy that has been set to monitor your life, to disrupt whatever God has planned for you, be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to stand upon three banner verses that I will kind of go through as we are praying. Um, and we will be able to break that. So if you are in a, in a cycle where you feel that things are not going well in your life or the Lord has revealed to you that monitoring spirits have been sent to you, Today, we're going to break the power of the monitoring spirits in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus today. I want to thank you so much for your word. I want to thank you so much for the revelation you have given us in Ephesians chapter 1, Lord, where you, you know, Paul prayed and asked, oh Lord, that you would open up the eyes of our understanding, that we might understand the great and mighty power that is available to us through him, him being Jesus Christ. So we thank you so much, Lord, for that power. We thank you so much for the blood of Jesus, O oh Lord. We thank you so much for all that you have done for us. And we thank you for the revelation there is, Lord, that you have given us about the tricks of the enemy and the strategies of the enemy to disrupt our lives. Father, right now I come before you and I put everyone under the sound of my voice in your hands today, O oh Lord. And whoever is listening to this, um, video right now, oh Lord. Father, I pray that if there are any monitoring spirits that have been assigned to them to report their life story to higher ranking demons, that the witches and sangomas might be able to use these things against them. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I break the power of these monitoring spirits over your people right now in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, oh Lord. Father, I pray right now that every monitoring device that has been set in the lives of your people, in the lives of your children, be it through a gift that was given, be it through uh, a touch, you know, touch, physical touch, be it through enchantments, be it through whatever devices might have been planted in their homes, oh Lord, that might have been planted anywhere in their lives. Father, right now we strip those devices of their power and we blind them spiritually that no more shall they be able to report to base that no more shall there be a, a report about the people that love you to the spiritual realm into the kingdom of darkness, O Lord. Father, I strip these monitoring spirits of their power. And I come against these sangomas and witches, warlocks, and high priests and priestesses that are performing these things, O Lord. Father, I speak your word right now according to Job 5.12, O Lord. Father, that says, disappoint 
the craft of the wicked, Lord, that they may not perform their enterprise, O oh Lord. Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus, Lord, that the, the enterprise of the wicked may be completely disappointed, that they may not perform their enterprise in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh Lord. Father, we know, O oh Lord, that you have said in Numbers 23, 23, that there shall be no enchantment against Jacob. There shall be no divination against Israel. And so right now in the mighty name of Jesus, we stand upon your word in Numbers 23, 23. And we declare ourselves immune from witchcraft. We declare ourselves immune from being monitored by these wicked monitoring spirits, O oh Lord. Father, it is illegal, according to Numbers 23, 23, O oh Lord, for the witches and warlocks to monitor, to perform enchantments and divination against your people, O oh Lord. And so we speak right now to you. Sangoma, to you, high priest and high priestess, and we say to you, it is illegal for you to do whatever it is you're doing to the children of God. And so because you are trespassing on holy ground, because you are trespassing and breaking spiritual laws, I therefore declare that the judgment of God fall upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive that portion of judgment that comes from the Lord, because the word of the Lord says that you shall not suffer a witch to live. Therefore, every witch and every warlock, every high priestess, everyone that is servicing those altars that are attempting to speak against the destiny of the children of God, Receive the judgment of God now. May the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us, the fire of the Holy Ghost that sanctifies the children of God, the children that have been set apart for God, may that fire destroy each and every wicked plan and each and every wicked enterprise of the kingdom of darkness. Father, I come before you, O Lord, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For Isaiah 59, 19 says, For they shall fear the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun and when the enemy lift, when the enemy comes in like a flood the spirit of the lord will lift up a standard against him father right now i pray that you lift up a standard against all manner of wickedness that has been set against your people O oh lord every evil plan every evil agenda O oh lord every evil thing that has been set in the path of your people to destroy them, to destroy their lives, to destroy their families, oh Lord. Father, we come right now and we ask, oh Lord, that the spirit of the living God begin to lift up a standard against these wicked acts, oh Lord, that the spirit of the living God begin, Lord, to lift up a standard, oh Lord. Begin to destroy each and everything. Begin to remove everything that has been placed in the path of your people, O Lord, that no more shall the wicked be able to perform their enterprise, O Lord. Father, we speak against enchantments and divinations. We speak against curses, O Lord, for you have said, who shall curse whom I have blessed? So I speak directly, O Lord, to the workers of iniquity, to all human agents that are collaborating with spirits in the spiritual realm. And I say to you, hear ye the word of the Lord, who can cast whom God has blessed? For I am he that goes before you to fight your enemies for you. Hallelujah. So hear ye the word of the Lord. The battle is not ours. The battle belongs to the Lord. And when power meets power, the lesser power must bow. So you will bow by spiritual law to the power of the Most High, to the Lord of Lords and to the King of Kings, to Yahweh, to Jehovah Nissi, who is our banner. He that lifts up a standard against you we speak directly to you right now and say, according to Isaiah 8, 10, take counsel together and it shall come to nothing. Speak the word and it shall not stand for God is with us. Therefore, we declare and we decree our immunity. We declare and decree our dominion over all things. According to the word of Jesus in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority over all power of the enemy so we take that power right now and we exercise that authority right now and subdue you under our feet and we declare and we decree that nothing that you have planned nothing that you have hatched up nothing that you are cooking in that wicked cauldron shall come to pass for god is with us the spirit of the living god is with us so i speak directly right now to every weapon of the enemy that has been hatched against us Every arrow, every fiery dart, 
every missile, every spiritual missile that has been set and that is pointing at me, that is pointing at my husband, that is pointing at my children, that is pointing at my parents, at my relatives, I command to fall right now, fall down to my left and fall down to my right in the mighty name of Jesus, according to Psalms 91, a thousand shall fall at my feet, 10,000 shall fall at my right side, but no harm shall come near us. So I speak <clears throat> the protection of the living God upon us, upon every voice that is listening under the sound of my voice right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every form of spiritual confusion that might have been set to confuse the minds of the people of the Lord, every spirit of heaviness, every spirit of mourning that had been set and sent to your children, O Lord. Father, I destroy right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the power of the living God, by the authority that has given been given to us as ministers of the gospel, as children of the Most High. I speak right now and say, it shall not come near us, according to Psalms 91. For the Lord is our protector. It is he under whose shadow and whose wings we hide. Father Lord, I thank you that you have made us invisible to the spiritual arrows of the enemy. I thank you, O oh Lord, that you continue to protect us. I destroy right now every device of the enemy. And I, I declare that our paths that are crooked have been made straight right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. For your word is a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path, O oh Lord. So we speak your word right now. And we declare victory over the enemy according to your word, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for who you are to us. I thank you, Lord, that every mirror has been destroyed. I thank you that every spiritual gadget that has been used to monitor your people is being destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you gave us dominion over all things. You gave us dominion over every creeping thing in the water that passes in the water, which means that the marine spirits are also subdued and they are under our feet. So I declare right now with the dominion mandate that has been given to us as children of the Most High, that every marine spirit that has been sent to attack your children and their families be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare right now and I speak directly to the elements of the earth, to the elements of the sea. I command them right now with the dominion mandate that you have given us to seize and to desist collaborating with the human agents that are collaborating with the spiritual agents to bring about our demise. May the earth not bring forth anything useful that will be used in witchcraft to destroy us. May anything that is in the seas be rendered powerless right now to destroy us in the mighty name of Jesus. May anything else that is under our feet that we have been given dominion cease to collaborate with human agents that are plotting our demise right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the blood of Jesus. I seal everyone under the sound of my voice with the blood of Jesus, that when any evil thing attempts to come upon them, O oh Lord, may they pass over them, Lord, because that is the blood. That is the eternal Passover. That is the blood that precludes us from having or engaging or having a, experiencing a spiritual death, O oh Lord. Father, I seal everyone under the sound of my voice with your precious blood, O oh Lord. I close every door that might have been opened that would have allowed the enemy to come in and to exact his enterprise in their lives. May those doors be sealed shut and permanently shut right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your revelation. I thank you, Lord, that you don't do anything without revealing it to your prophets. Father, I thank you for exposing our enemies, Lord, and I ask that you continue to expose our physical enemies, that you continue to expose our spiritual enemies. And Father, I pray right now for our enemies in the real world, O oh Lord. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit will begin to convict them. Convict them, O oh Lord, of the wickedness that they are doing, Lord. But if they fail to repent... If you fail to repent, the Lord gave Jezebel a chance to repent and she refused to repent. So I speak directly to you, worker of iniquity, that is working and engaging in witchcraft. If you should fail to repent, 
may the portion, may the portion that comes with they that practice witchcraft be yours as it is written in the word of the Lord. So I urge you to repent for your own sake and for the sake of your own bloodline. And if you should refuse to repent, may the Lord who judges righteously judge you righteously for your wicked acts. For the things that you are doing are illegal. And you have no right to touch the anointed of Christ, the anointed of God. The Lord says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. And as you have crossed that line and crossed that boundary and chosen with the wickedness and iniquity in your heart to touch the anointed of God, I beseech you to repent now or experience the judgment of God. Father Lord, I thank you for you are holy. I thank you that you are righteous. I thank you that you are a good God and you are a good king. But more importantly, you are a good and fair judge. And so I bring all manner of wickedness into the courts of heaven this morning. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you have said in your word, come, let us reason together, O Lord. And as we have been washed clean by your blood, and it's not by our works, it is not by our strength, but it is the, the, by the blood of Jesus that cleanses us. It cleanses us from all unrighteousness and makes us holy before you, O Lord. We appear before you and before the courts of heaven pure. And we ask, O Lord, that the blood of Jesus that speaks greater things than the blood of Abel, not only speak on our behalf, but intercede on our behalf, not only intercede on our behalf, Lord, but plead our case before the courts of heaven, O Lord. May Satan and his demons and his minions be found guilty, O Lord, of accusing us before you, O Lord. And may your judgment that is righteous fall upon them. I thank you, Lord. And I ask right now, even as the morning begins, Lord, we command the morning. We command the morning and ask that everything, that every good thing that you have ordained for us today be according to your word in the mighty name of Jesus, O Lord. And every wicked thing that was designed to come upon our path today be completely annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for who you are to us. I praise your holy name, O oh Lord. I thank you for making all the crooked paths straight, for protecting us, O oh Lord, according to your word in Zechariah that says, I will be a wall of fire to her on all sides, and I will be the glory in her midst. So be a wall of fire to us on all sides and protect us. We put that hedge of protection around us and around our families, around our jobs, around our relationships, around the people that we meet. And we ask that you'll be the glory in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.